ritual. It's a scary word, often associated with cults, witchcraft, superstition. I'm an anthropologist by training, and that means I've studied ritual in depth. And there's one case that really sticks with me. Uh, there's this tribe that believes the human body is disgusting, like absolutely disgusting. And the natives have to cleanse it through ritual. Every household, even if it's small, has a shrine dedicated to this purpose. Wealthy people may have several shrines. But everybody engages in a cleansing ritual that's private and secret. A local shaman provides people with magic potions that help them purge bad spirits from the body. For example, the natives believe the teeth are one of the most disgusting parts of the body and rife with bad spirits. So to clean it, uh, they, they take this bundle of hog hairs and they bless it with a magic potion. And then they put the hog hairs in their mouth to kill the bad spirits. Maybe you caught on, but the tribe in question here are Americans. The shrine is a bathroom. The bundle of hog hairs is a toothbrush. And the magic potion is toothpaste. People think rituals are strange behavior, enthusiastic, culty, unpredictable, but they're only strange from the outside. Rituals are all around us. Here are some American activities you probably never even knew were rituals. Shaking hands, birthday parties, wearing uniforms, literally all sporting events ever, every sport, every time you go to a stadium, soccer, football, basketball, doesn't matter. All ritual, tailgating, the national anthem, family meals, graduation, weddings, military drills, bonfires, placing flowers on a grave, parades, giving birth has tons of rituals around it, Easter egg hunts. I mean, the list goes on and on. See, when you live a ritual, it's normal. We perform rituals every day, all day, in fact. And if you consider the list we just went through, Rituals are some of the best moments of our lives. Rituals make us feel alive, part of a community. They're incredibly powerful. But what exactly is a ritual? Let's unpack it. At root, a ritual is a sequence of behaviors that carries a symbolic meaning. When you go to the fridge for a snack, that's a sequence, but not a ritual. When you make a family meal, you sit together and talk, and the mealtime embodies love and family, that's ritual. If you eat certain foods on certain days, that's definitely a ritual. So let me ask you, why do we shake hands? Because a long time ago, it was a way of showing, symbolizing, we weren't carrying a weapon. It symbolized friendship and safety, and it stuck. And the truth is, the vast majority of human behavior is ritualized. All large-brained animals exhibit ritualized behaviors. Many of these ritualized patterns are hardwired into our bodies and brains. The ritual and symbolic process is literally how your brain interprets the world. We see an object in the external world, and our brain interprets it and assigns meaning to it. Consider these symbolic attachments. Water. Life. Storm. Dangerous. Handshake. Friend. To be human is to ritualize everything. School is filled with rituals. Why? Because that's how kids learn. We just use the word structure or routine these days, but really they're rituals. Why is ritual so prevalent? Because it solves a major problem for animal species. How do you take a bunch of individuals and coordinate their action? Take driving. It's critical we coordinate our actions for safety. So, we do a bunch of weird stuff. Putting yellow paint on the ground, posting multicolored signs, blinking lights. I mean, think about it. It's weird. The act of driving itself is infused with symbolism. What brand of car do you drive? What kind of driver are you? Do you obey the rules or break them? Conversations, too, are highly ritualized, and anthropologists have studied them in depth. They're initiated by a ritualized greeting, shaking hands, how are you? Nice day today. Speakers take turns talking. They make hand gestures like I'm doing. 
They stand specific distances apart. They ritualize their farewells with hugging. Young children, before they can speak any words, practice the ritual of conversation with their parents by taking turns, mirroring, and babbling. Ritual is how we learn. My point in going through all of this is to reclaim the word ritual. Ritual is everywhere. You perform hundreds of them every day. When people feel squeamish about rituals, what they're signaling is that they don't like new rituals. We perform most rituals blind to their origin. Consequently, they feel natural. No kid questions why we hug or put yellow paint on the ground. We just do. But people feel weird when they know a ritual has been invented. Think on that for a second, though. All rituals either arose out of our biology or were invented at some previous point in time. The question to ask about a ritual is, what is it trying to accomplish? Are its intentions ethical or problematic? Is it trying to manipulate people? I would argue a lot of business and sales rituals are problematic for precisely these reasons. If you've seen our other videos, you know ritual is another case of category versus example. The category of rituals is generally a good thing. Again, many of our best memories are rituals. Family dinners, concerts, birthdays, getting married. Science also has a lot to say about the power and benefit of ritual. Rituals synchronize heart rates, increase happiness, safety, and trust. They decrease anxiety, pain, and depression. They reduce aggression. They strengthen the immune system. They make us more generous, helpful, and ethical. And they kindle new friendships. If you've ever been at a huge concert or a sports stadium where your team won, you know the power of ritual. It makes the air feel electric. There's nothing like it. Conversely, if you're coming from a high-demand religious environment where you experience religious trauma, you've probably had some bad run-ins with ritual. Ritual was used to exploit, manipulate, or abuse. So you are right to be skeptical of new rituals. We should condemn those bad examples of ritual that were used to hurt you. But we have to spare the category. It's too big and fundamental for anything less. That's why we must ask, what is a given ritual trying to do? At Arethian, we believe in the category of ritual. It's part of our DNA. Humans ritualize everything. So we should focus our efforts on creating community rituals that better people's lives. Rituals that are ethical, compassionate, uplifting, meaningful, and bonding. Arethian's rituals may look strange from the outside, but we use ritual to foster community through joy, connection, and meaning. You're right to approach any new ritual with skepticism. But I also think you should give Arethian's rituals a chance. Let's face it, all rituals had to start somewhere.